Yo guys, before I start today's video off, I'd just like to talk a little bit about Streamlabs. Uh, now Streamlabs is a multi-cross um, stream platform that will basically allow your channel to grow 10 times faster. Uh, now if you actually click the link in the description down below, you'll actually get 70% off of this and um, basically just check it out for yourself if you want, want to. But um, Streamlabs actually offers a design your own stream, stream overlays, alert box themes, alert box sounds, logo maker, multi-stream, custom tip page tips and a mobile app. It also has the App Store, Merch, CloudBot, Charity, uh, Sponsors and then a, a couple of the other apps followed around of this you will get included in the um, premium pack. So it's, a, a, it's worth checking out and like I say you get 70% off if you do use my code or my link that's in the description down below. But in my opinion it's really worth it as your channel will grow literally 10 times faster. Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now, today I'm actually going to be showing you the top 10 rat holes for Genesis Part 2. Uh, now, don't worry about the video being 15 minutes long. As you can see, if you do press the screen of the video right now, uh, you should actually see a number of chapters uh, for you to skip throughout the video to each rat hole. Um, the longer through the video, the further through the video, the better the rat holes to actually get. But the coordinates for this spot, as you can see, there are 50.5 and 0 6.6, and that's the location of the map there. And all you're going to want to do is actually fly all the way to the top here. Uh, now, this is one of the best rat holes as well. I put it at the start just to show you guys, because uh, this is absolutely insane, really. And the area of mesh and space you have to build inside of here is crazy. Uh, and it just carries on going throughout the whole metal structure, really, if you do follow it around. Um, obviously, on official, you will have to avoid kill barriers and teleportation zones. I haven't tested them out yet, um, as I've been on single player the whole time, trying to scout all these spots out for you guys. Um, but yeah, so this is number one. As you can see, the size of this is absolutely insane. Uh, and also, I've got a member-only video coming out today. Uh, that's a mega mesh spot. It's probably the biggest mesh spot I've seen in, in the game before. And uh, that leads to... Uh, meshing outside the map and stuff like that um, so that'll be going up today for the member only content and um, but yeah as you can see if you do follow this around uh, it is just massive really you've got so much room for everything uh, now if you are going to actually come out of this second area um, as you can see this texture above me has actually got land if you do come up uh, like out of here you won't be able to get back in uh, so if you are planning on coming out of here obviously bring beds transmitters or a teleport with you if you can place that around here and um, but with official settings on it does say you can build in here uh, as you saw in the gameplay earlier on and um, so it is an insane spot really and you can mesh the whole of this area uh, and as you can see just as size this it's obviously insane and like i say throughout the video the spots will be getting better now this is one of the best spots in the video uh, one of the biggest spots anyway uh, but i thought i'd put this at a start to show you guys like i said um but what the video is actually going to be doing is it's going to be going through the smaller spots up to the biggest spots at the end uh now there's actually more bigger spots than smaller spots in this video and it's also it's not too bad like that but like i say the chapters are in the video as well and uh, so if you have had enough of seeing one spot just uh, click on the chapter and it'll say like rat hole two rat hole three uh, and stuff like that and each rat hole should say on the screen of the video the coordinates for that if you obviously can't uh, listen to the volume uh, or you can't see it properly on the screen so the coordinates will be actually written on the screen for you and it will also say if it's official or unofficial next to it but i'll also be announcing it throughout the video as well and uh, now this is actually rat hole number two as you can see at the coordinates 50.8 and 10.7, uh, and this is the location of the map um, right there. Now this um, rat hole is actually more for a solo tribe, you can't really fit anything in here, uh, especially if you are building on here on official. Uh, on official it's only got like one um, one foundation space, uh, so obviously this is it, this is a spot here, it's not too good, this is more of an unofficial um, solo spot, but you can place a foundation here on official for some reason. Um, and also there's a second bit down here if you do actually knock yourself out this will be a knockdown spot but also I'm just going to use the blink gun to uh, speed up time for you guys to show you this area um, but down here this is just another one foundation spot really but like I say if you was for unofficial you could obviously um, fill this area in or put a cliff platform up there if you really wanted to and build on that um, but like I say it's more for unofficial uh, solo tribes and um, so that's the spot number two now in spot number three here, uh, this is the coordinates on the, on the screen, uh, 51.0 and 09.0. Uh, and this is the location of the map. Now this one does actually have two entrances, one that goes to the top entrance and one, one that goes to the bottom entrance. Uh, now this is more of a, a probably a solo or a two-man if you're pushing it there. It depends if you're unofficial or unofficial. For unofficial, it'll probably be a two-man tribe because the area you do have. Um, but this is the top entrance here. There's nothing too much up here. Uh, this top entrance is actually unofficial only, so you can't actually place a foundation down here. So that's unofficial only. Um, but the bottom area is actually official. Um, as you can see, if you actually just drop down here and carry on going all the way down to the bottom. Uh, now, this is a slightly bigger area. So this is more like a solo or a two-man tribe, depending if you are official or unofficial, like I say. Um, and it is kind of easy to, to uh, defend. Obviously, you've got to... 
uh, defend the top zone as well as the bottom zone and it will be slightly harder unofficial to defend the top zone as you can't build up there um, but obviously you probably figure something out but that was spot number three anyway and as you can see this is the second entrance here where you'd have to block off or try and defend uh, it's not too much of a big entrance though so you don't need to worry about anything with the coordinates for that 50.7 and 09.7 that's the location of the map there and uh, this is the general area from outside if you're looking into it uh, so it's not too noticeable but yeah now next up we do actually have spot number four and the coordinates for this are actually 36.7 and 42.1 and this is the location of the map as you can see on the left hand side and then this one is actually unofficial only as well and um, from what i've tested i've not really tested anything with cliff platforms or anything though so it might be able to place cliff platforms here i'm not too sure and um, but it's basically under this, underneath this tower here uh, you just fly up and um, this is the this is the area really it's nothing too um too good obviously for unofficial it is a really good area though really uh but the downfall is it is unofficial only as you can see it's official settings you can't place structures inside of here and um, but i'm not sure if it will allow you to place cliff platforms or anything and um, but like i said that's the only thing that puts a downfall to this spot um but other than that is a really decent uh building spot and rat hole type mesh rat hole type thing um obviously if you are unofficial uh but yeah so as you can see this is, this is a massive one really as well so it will be for the bigger tribes if you are risking to build here um let's just put it at that but yeah, so that's the spot number four. As you can see, this is the general outlook from the area. Uh, and that's basically what you are inside that massive texture. Next up, we do actually have spot number five at 63.8 and 20.0. And this is the location of the map, as you can see right there. Now, this one is actually behind the waterfall, so that's even better because that's basically hiding it away from everyone as well. And um, what, we what you are going to do is just follow the route I take. Go to the left here and you should actually see this little hole. Land on this area and just crouch and walk in. And as you can see, you've got all this space down here. Now, like I say again, the downfall to this is it, it is unofficial only. Uh, and obviously, you could probably store teams here if you really wanted to, unofficial, or have a breeding area in here. Um, but other than that, it's not really too good for official. But unofficial is a really, really good spot. Um, as you can see, you've got all this area as well. So you've got area for a base, a death wall, um, a breeding area, everything really. So you can obviously block off that um, little tiny crouch spot as well. And you've got all this area down here as well, so you can put cliff platforms if you really wanted to in different layer all the way down for different storage levels and stuff. So you've got all the space you really need, and you've got little secret like areas like this around this, around the area as well. And um, but yeah, if you do actually go fly, fly up to the ceiling though, this is another downfall. It's actually put you into this swim texture now i'm not too sure if you'll be able to put vacuum compartments up here or anything because you technically are in the water and um, because of the river above you um so that might work if you obviously tried that and put it in the right spot for unofficial and um, but yeah so as you can see that was um, base spot number five anyway now next up what we actually do have is um spot number six and the coordinates 50.3 and zero um 8.1 and it's the location of the map as you can just see right there now this one's also a really good base spot as well this is actually official as well uh, now, the space you actually do have in here would probably be a six man uh, and stuff like that. As you can see, you've got all this room all the way here uh, and to obviously build a base. Now, the only problem with this is you won't be able to place replicators or anything inside of here because of the height of the actual rat hole itself, as you'll just see in the gameplay now. Uh, so, this is all with official settings on as well, by the way. Um, but as you can see, if you do try and place the replicator, it will be obstructed by the top of the, um, the rat hole. Uh, but if you actually do follow it all the way around this. Um, hill texture as well uh you will then see there's a little opening at the side as you can see and if you just crouch through here and walk down here you've got all this space at the back now this is why i say it's a six man even more uh but it is absolutely massive inside of here but the only downfall like i say for official would be the height limit um for placing structures and stuff so this probably have to be a storage room or a breeding area it's completely up to you obviously what you do with this and um, but for unofficial it would be insane and nothing actually pokes out the top because of the hill above you actually covers it all now spot number seven is actually 65.0 and 28.6 uh, and as you can see, it's the location of the map there. Now, it's actually next to the tentacle cave we did cover yesterday. And um, this one's pretty much insane as well. And if you do actually go to the left of the entrance, uh, you actually see the hole. But this is a general area of where the cave actually is. But go to the left entrance of the um, tentacle, and you've got this hole here that opens it up into this massive area around here. Um, now, you've got all this space, obviously, building here. Now, you are covered by the rock, but you do need to be careful with this one in case you do obviously build on unofficial this is if you do build on unofficial and it just poke out of areas now this is the only spot i didn't test that was uh, if it was official or not um but obviously you won't be able to probably place a foundations anywhere for official but cliff platforms will probably work on official uh so obviously it depends on um how you build it and if you build it on 
cliff platforms and that will depend if it works on official or not and um, but yes yeah, so that's base spot number seven and um, i really like that one in my opinion uh, next up we actually do have number eight at the coordinates 80.0 and 30.9 uh, this is the location of the map as you can see there now this one's absolutely massive inside as well and this is probably one of the best ones i've, I've uh, came across now someone actually did actually help me with this one they actually told me on the previous video uh, about this mesh hole so a big shout out to him um I think his name was Mimo X, but if he does comment again, I actually pinned his comment on this um, video. Um, but yeah, big shout out for him for actually showing me this spot uh, and telling me the coordinates for this one. And but as you can see, once you actually do come through the hole, you've got all this area inside of here, and it does branch off into so many different more rooms and stuff. As you can see, it's got all this area and it's absolutely massive. It's big enough for literally anything inside of here, uh, breeding areas anything anything you really want the only thing you need to be careful of is as you can see in the gameplay now if you do go too high you will actually get teleported through the texture and you will be stuck in there so that's the only problem um, as you can see i'd actually use the admin rifle to get back through the texture um, but you can actually follow it all the way through these rooms it's just massive the, the amount of space you actually do have on here is unreal and yeah you can pretty much build anything you really really wanted on here and it does go around this whole cave area to actually show you at the start um, of this base location as you can see it just opens up to all this room and it keeps going through different um, sections and stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, that's base spot number eight. I hope you did actually enjoy this. Now, the next two are actually mesh spots uh, for getting out of the map as well. Um, so this is the end of the rat holes uh, right here. Now, next up, these both of these uh, mesh spots uh, do actually take place in the Rockwell Cave. So the entrance for this is actually 50.0 and 29.6. And this is the location on the map, as you can see right there. And now there's actually two entrances to um, this Rockwell Cave. There's one to the right, one to the left. Uh, and basically, what you're going to do is follow the path I do actually take. Now, the first one I'm actually going to be showing you is actually in the main room in the corner. But what you're going to do is follow this path, like I say. Um, go down here, go through this tunnel. Uh, go past this first room, go through this little crack down here, uh, and then to the right you'll actually see like a hole, uh, go through this hole bit, follow it all the way around, to turn, uh, turn to the left, and then you will be into the main room now. Uh, and if you could actually come to this final mission terminal, just follow it down this path to go through this tunnel, uh, go to the right, and um, in the corner to my left now is the actual uh, mesh hole itself. As you can see, it's all the way up here, and um, the ceiling doesn't actually render in properly, or the barrier doesn't render in, uh, so you can actually fly straight out of there. But the co pinpoint coordinates for this are actually 64.7 and 26.4, and this is the location of the map, as you can see right there. And um, all you're going to do is just basically follow what I just did a minute ago. Go through here, go up to the corner, and basically just fly straight up, and then you will be outside of the map. Uh, now, this one's insane, as you can see. It's also official settings, so it does work on official, uh, hopefully anyway. Uh, but yes, yeah, so this is official settings you can build on here. Uh, you can build all the way down here. You can build anywhere around here with cliff platforms as well. So as you can see, this is a really broken spot, like most of the map when they've dropped it. Um, but I'm not complaining. But yeah, so you can, as you can see, you've got all these... Uh, all this room anyway for cliff platforms and stuff now if you actually do drop, drop down to the bottom there should be a little layer for you to actually build on as well uh, like a little platform type thing as you as you'll see now uh, but yeah just drop all the way down here and you can obviously build on here with foundations as well so you've got all this room basically for anything you really wanted and if you was to avoid kill barriers and teleportation barriers you could probably mesh most of the map but this is the next spot at 57.8 and 28.6 now this is actually the final spot as you can see that's the location of the map as well and this one's actually in the ceiling so if you do actually follow where i go uh turn to the right and you actually see this hole in the ceiling uh and then go forward until you meet this like metal pole type thing and then go to the left and then go all the way down to the left go to the right and then from here you are outside of the map again uh now this one's insane as well you can mesh pretty much most of the map if you was to avoid kill barriers and teleportation barriers uh, i haven't tested any of that out yet as you can see this is just me been scouting all last night uh, to find spots uh, but yeah as you can see you can also build on here with um, cliff platforms as well all official settings like i say uh, now this is also official settings as well and um, we can also build down here with official uh, unofficial hopefully um, all this room down here as well uh but i don't think you are going to be too bothered about that as you can see you've got all this space pretty much anywhere to build uh now as you can see the metal structure that's actually around me now uh you can't actually build on there on official setting for some reason but for unofficial you, you will be able to build on here with cliff platforms um but this is with official settings you cannot build uh on this flat metal bit but the flat the uh metal bit to my left as i'll show you in the gameplay later on uh, you can actually build on there with cliff platforms um but yeah so that's only a downfall to this spot really is this bit but obviously you would find different spots for you to build on 
Um, but yes, yeah, so you obviously can't build on there. But this is the next spot I was on about this um, texture down here, so we can obviously build with official settings. But thank you for watching. If you could like and subscribe, I hope this video did actually help you out today, uh, and I hope you actually find some base spots you'd want to um, build in. Now, also drop down base or video recommendations in the comments down below.